So this is my latest recumbent bicycle project that I finally put together again with a new seat and a new steering column and lots of new stuff. I used three forks for it. One for the front wheel, one to support the top of the seat, and the third one for the rear wheel. A two inch piece of chromoly tubing pierced in various directions using the drill press that is part of the shopsmith that my grandfather gave me many years ago. Most of it, as you can tell, is brazed with a couple of pretty bad welding joints because I was practicing my welding. The main tube is closed off, front and rear. There's a double idler pulley and over-under that you see there. I had to build this rear brake tower because I wanted my upper seat support to connect there and not at the rear axle. I find it a much more comfortable. The steering mast is pretty simple, using some old tubing from a BMX and some standard parts. The rear end was a big, beefy mountain bike fork with some dropouts, some big, beefy dropouts that I'd found, along with a fork that I'd shortened in a different video. The seat is an ice trike seat. I used a stem for the upper end and had to custom make the lower mount for it. The lower seat mount quick releases have been replaced with bolts because I did have a problem with slipping. These idler pulleys, I think I picked them up from Lightning many, many years ago. There's some details of the seat base mount. The fork, shortened fork acting as the upper seat brace. That's part of an auto exhaust clamp attached to a front axle. The axle has been cut and there's a quick release on that now. I had to mount the front brake backwards and use that little red fitting so that the wheel could steer a bit better. Overall, works really really well. I've uh, dropped the seat back angle a bit, I've added some grips to the bar, changed a little bit about the position, but overall it went, runs really 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 well. Pretty pleased with it.